Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Jack Day Sports Pro Golf, and I'm into week 43 of the Game and Decathlon competition. We continue the grind here into Season 4, my age 22 year, and it truly is a grind at this point. We are playing on very hard. And by very hard, they mean very hard to improve. Each year, we lose attribute points. We have a natural decay. Even though we're only 22 years old, we have lost 14 attribute points. And it's bound to take us most of the year to recover that. Now, I th think that I have found that if you are fatigued. I've done some more uh, off-camera work. I think I have found that if you are fatigued when you train, your results are not as good. Alright, so we tried to do some training at the thousand dollar level. I managed to only get a couple copper stars there uh, over a few weeks, so that was not good results. Let's go ahead and exchange that, and then we need to switch down to the money-making model, 500. Uh, I have also tried the practice model again uh, with no results, no results, as in I trained practice round after practice round after practice round after practice round, and never, ever... <laughs> Gained a single attribute point. I didn't go as long as I did before. Before I've done an entire year of practice round trainings to gain a single attribute point. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. No money. Uh, da -da. Profile. Oh, really? We have 10? Well, this is not a good start to the year. <laughs> We're not even recovering what we had Okay, that was a little better. We got nine. <laughs> uh, one, one more thing that I think uh, I, I mentioned in that last episode, uh, my idea on, on how to get this a little more. It's sustainable now. I mean, you can make the money. But how to improve the golfer, how to actually get competitive, is to not penalize the young guys, the you know the 22-year-old. Uh, why should I see a decay? Or why should the decay be 14 attribute points for a 22-year-old? Uh, they should be growing and developing, not decaying like somebody like myself that's 36, right? I decay. I, I play soccer. I'm losing a step. Yeah, that might have something to do with the torn calf that I suffered uh, less than half a year ago. Uh, but that's that's only a small piece of it. Uh, really, what's happened is I'm getting older. I'm just my agility's not as good, my speed's not as good. So as you get older, our body decays a bit. When you're young, that's not the case. So I know that the major fix, the major solution to a version 1.2 is that yearly decay. That's that's a simple fix. Uh, at least it seems like it should be because that's not a whole lot of overhaul. That's not a big change. Uh, let's start getting some of these points back. There's one. Woo! We got 13 to go.
And it's sad. It's already December, and I'm struggling here. Uh, even on the basic 500, I'm, I'm not recovered very fast. I've picked up three out of 14 attribute points, so I'm still minus 11 for this year. Mechanics, there's minus 10 now. And consistency, hey, thank you. All right, minus, are we minus eight, really? Yeah, I've only picked up one, two, three, four, five, six attribute points. I am minus eight still. Okay, uh, 19,000, still not really enough to switch over to the other model, so we'll train a little bit longer here, get up to about 25,000 or so, and then we'll go again. And my ball supply is dwindling, so yay, I need to spend more money on Gentry golf balls. Okay, there we go. Da -da -da -da. And clubs are still okay. Back to that profile. Ooh, that's, that's it, huh? Uh, again, let's do some training. Uh, anyway, I, I think in addition, right, that's the main thing. You, you fix that and we, we make big progress. Uh, I think you could still tweak this training model a little bit at, at the bottom end, a, a little bit more. Uh, for example, this lowest level, right? And let's let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, oh, really? No progress, none. I, I'm at the exact same cash value I was, uh, but let's look at it anyway. So this is what they tweaked. If you train zero, you don't train, which that's kind of ridiculous because I, I can step out uh, outside. I, I don't even have to technically go outside. I can do it in my own house if I want and do a zero dollar training. Uh, but realistically, step outside your house with a club in your hand and practice swinging. Doesn't cost you a thing. Do that over and over again and, and you're going to make a slight improvement. So I don't see why zero is nothing or why it's an option. Why would it be an option if it doesn't exist as anything? So let, let, let's fix that part, but that's that's minor. Uh, they, they totally tweaked this $500 training, and you see that you get nothing but copper stars, but you have really, really good odds. Why not throw in a 2% chance or 3% chance on 500 that you're going to get a bronze? That rare bronze is... It's going to have a good little boost for you. Uh, because if I've got to recover 14 attribute points and most of them are bronze, not copper, where am I going to get those? So if once in a rare while I happen to get a bronze instead of a copper, that's that's a boost. That's that's something. Uh, but then we, we switch to that $1,000 model, as I'm going to do now. And that $1,000 model is all pretty much copper with the occasional bronze and then on really really rare occasions something else why not tweak that a little bit to be a little more sustainable so that you can improve that the bottom feeder stats the bottom feeder attributes right so what I'm saying is, you know, up the odds a little bit that you'll get copper back and at least be sustainable. Remember, it costs a thousand, copper gives a thousand. So you're not gaining anything, it's more of just staying alive, you know, kind of breaking even. Uh, so, you know, up it by five percent. Uh 
but up bronze by 5%. So you're, you're getting something out of it uh, occasionally. So just, just minor, minor tweaks. Just a, a little bit more on that bottom end. But the biggest thing really is, is just the attributes. That's that's the main thing. You know, what I suggested in that last episode is is the key fundamental. Uh, without that tweak, without that change, the rest of it is so minor. I mean, we're, we're talking about a few attribute points per year on the other changes, that, that little, little percent tweak. Uh, but again, that's so minor that that's, that's a pretty easy fix to do, Wolverine Studios. I know you're working hard on your 2019 games, uh, but you, you've got to show some love to you, your recent release here, Draft Day Sports Pro Golf. Uh, you know, I've been on the forums, uh, and there's been one or two posts in the last month and a half, and no responses whatsoever. So you've gone quiet on your game. Now the community's going quiet on your game, and, and that's a bad sign. You, you don't want to launch a game and then immediately set it aside and forget about it, forget about its existence, and community would soon follow suit on that as well. Uh, but here we are, cash dwindling again, and I still haven't picked up a bronze star yet this year. So I'm still a minus eight. And we are already into the early season. So it's kind of what I'm talking about here. It's I'm not getting anywhere. I'm literally not getting anywhere. I, I'm a minus eight for the year. And I haven't picked up a single bronze star, let alone something better that can actually help financially a little bit I've got to get I, I get that you got to spend more to to get more back right a, a thousand isn't much but if you're at the bottom and you're not earning money and there is no you know you're not making cuts again that takes us back to that original thing of how do you stay alive when you're not competitive well, this, this isn't cutting it. Because look, all we did was train for two months, and I got nothing. So I just went seven or eight weeks of training and did not earn a single bronze star. I'm still a minus eight, and it's already the middle of February. So we're a third of the way into the year. And I've gone literally nowhere. Not even figuratively. Literally, I've gone nowhere. Nowhere past copper, anyway. We don't have enough money, so we're back to sucking it up. Moving on. to recover some stamina here so we'll uh, train one day less for a little while
not going anywhere. Uh, we're getting there fast. I know I've gone quiet, but I'm practicing patience at the moment. I, I am starting to get frustrated here again, and that's not fun for you. That's not fun for me. Ready to give this just about one last shot here. Still, nothing. Not one bronze star the whole year. It's May. It's May. I'm halfway through the year, and I still haven't gotten one. One. Bronze star. Not even one. All right. I give up. It's not happening on very hard. At least not on version 1.1. <laughs> I've simmed quite a few seasons and I've done some more off camera. And at best, you're picking up maybe one or two attribute points a year because of the deficit created. And you can't afford to train anymore because you're barely, barely getting above that break even. There, there's a sustainable model for the money now, but not for the attribute growth, unless you're making cuts. Very hard's not gonna work, but that doesn't mean that the game itself does not work. So we're gonna try again, keep default sponsors. I am going to spread this out. I like to see some diversity. So we're going to have at least a percentage point from all of these nations. Korea should have a couple. New Zealand should have a couple. Come on. Those are big time countries in the world of golf. And let's see, who's got 
more than they should. Like Australia, you can go down to six. Spain, you can go down to six. I gotta put in two for the Philippines, that's where my wife's from, so. And one more to give out somewhere, some way, somehow. Who's it gonna be? I guess we could give it back to Spain. There you go. Ooh, ooh, almost missed that one up. 50 50. All right, we're going to start them young. Uh, let's say 15. And we're going to go. We're going to try hard. I still, I, I don't want to concede to normal. Let's try hard. We'll get what we can. Now, I've learned a lot after that last playthrough in terms of what works and what doesn't. So I can keep some zeros. I can keep some zeros and grow into this. So uh, I want to try this. We're going to go woods, 55. We're going to go wedges. 55. We're going to go putting. 55. We're going to go, uh, let's see, recovery. 55. Let's go mental. 55. about long irons 55 and let's see what else to do well I guess short irons right can I get 55? No, I can't get 55. Can I get 50? Yes. All right, so that gives me 90, almost free attribute points in power, mechanics, and consistency with that early model. It's gonna take a while to earn 90, but hey, we're only 15. We can earn that 90 and get there. And meanwhile, I'm only having to recover one, two, three, four, five, six, back to 55, plus build short irons to 55. We'll try this. Full potential, yes. All right, we try yet again. I would love to be beyond the frustration and into we got this we can do this we are not going to fail again so we're down to hard 70,000 cash is going to be a big boost to us it's going to allow us to train for a while and we're going to jump straight into the bronze hunting Finish off those short irons. So we'll train right at a thousand. Try to pick up some bronze stars and then jump down to the copper and get those real quick. And see where we're at. Maybe once I get those all up to 30, 30, 30, maybe we'd be on the verge of a cut. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Uh, we've still got some work to do though. We need a caddy. We got a 2-3, a 2-2. Two, two. Not very many people want the job right now because we are stinkers. 4-3. 5-3. Ooh, there's a 4-4. Four, four. Christopher Washington. Christopher Washington, you have yourself a job.
All right, so we're going to start at 1,000 on that training budget. Let's get the equipment out of the way. I know that we had gentry. All right, ball quality is nine. That's good. Oh, let's see. What did we have? Citrisco? Sure, there we go. Golf clubs purchased. No sponsor yet. And we'll jump through these. Da -dun -da -dun. And there's our profile. There we are. We've got a ways to go, but those should be easy to pick up. And we didn't get into crazy expensive on anything and hard to maintain. We've got a good amount of cash. Let's start training and getting ready for the season. Copper star. All right. That's not what I want, though. Not what I need, though. Let's go just straight into sim season and push right through. We'll get down to about 10,000 in cash. We get what we get. So far, no luck. Nothing but copper. There's a bronze, finally. That's one. We need five on a current. There's a silver. That'll translate into a little bit of cash and a second bronze. There's a third bronze, a fourth bronze. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. All right. Four bronze. Not bad. Not bad. That's one shy of where I was trying to get. Uh, oh, actually, there's five. And the silver. All right. Hey, look at this. Uh, so we're going to get the short irons upgraded. Okay, short irons, short irons, short irons. There we go. And here we go. And voila. All right. Those are all 55s now. So now it's about a matter of maintaining those and building the others. So that's three, six, that's seven attribute points that I'll have to recover at the end of the year. So not so easy on that part. Uh, but we've got to get these guys all up to 30 uh, before we attempt to cut. I have 19 right now, but we don't have much cash. So I need to sell a little bit. Why don't we get to 10,000? So we're going to sell six of those. Uh, and we're going to sell, actually, you know what? I don't need to sell any of those, do I? Zero, zero. There's a thousand right there. So we're going to sell that silver star. And we're going to make 19 upgrades to our mechanics. Uh, it would be nice if I could just apply 19. Like a little slider or... You know, enter a number. How many do you want to use? 19. Well, now, 17. <laughs> As opposed to having to click it over and over and over again. So just, just a thought. Just That affects a few more things, so I don't know if that's as easy of a change to make as the other suggestions I've made, but hey, you know. I'm not even sure if anyone's listening, but uh, it's from Wolverine Studios. You're listening. Yes, you are. Well done. Hopefully you didn't click off when, uh, <laughs> when I decided to click off because of my frustration. But hey, I have hope for this playthrough. It's got to work. At some point, I know this game can be playable. But it can also be super easy if you start super easy. And I don't want super easy. I just want it to be possible. And it was oh so close. Oh so close. Uh, after the version 1.1 update. But close isn't enough. I mean it's 
This isn't horseshoes. It isn't hand grenades. Mechanics on its way up. Uh, we've got to change our training model to the cheapo one for the next while. We're going to have to do a combination of, you know what, actually I do need three rest days, so we'll do that. We're going to have to make some copper stars here to both make money and improve those three stat categories, get them all up to 30. Uh, because of the low cash, I'm just going to go ahead and sell the whole lotta for now. Gives me a little bit of cash to work with. We'll take it down to about six or seven thousand again. And we've reached the first tournaments of the year. Okay, almost there for another check-in. All right, now we want to get back up a ways, so let's go with nine. That gets us back to where we were, plus a thousand. And we'll put another five points into mechanics. See, this phase works just fine. You could get through the copper training with the new model quite easily. You can get everything to 30. It's getting it to 55. That's a problem. And if you're getting everything close to 55, you could start making cuts and earning money. And if you're earning cash, then you can train better, higher values. And, you know, it, it all goes from there. It all takes off from there. It's that 30 to 55 range that is the challenge at the moment. Now with all of these 55s and these last three all 30, I don't know if that's that might be enough. That might get me to making cuts. I know the power doesn't matter as much. The consistency, if it's only 30, yeah, I'm going to have some bad rounds. I'm going to have some bad tournaments. I'm going to miss some cuts. But can I do two rounds to make a cut? Can I get that if I'm lucky? Right? The consistency is not there. Obviously, I'm not going to do it consistently. <clears throat> I.e. the word, you know, definition right in there. But does that mean you're not going to do it at all? No. Mental attribute is the more whole by whole. Consistency is more day by day, presumably, right? All right. Less talking, more clicking, right? Mechanics at 30. E that one's a little bit of a, a worry, right? Probably need a little more out of that than I'm getting, but...
We're nearly there on mechanics. That's not, that's mechanics. There we go. Just two to go. We'll see. I'm, I'm curious to see uh, how it's different because I know my first season, I only lost 10 attribute points. My second season, I lost 14. My third season, I lost 14. And I was definitely fatigued at the end of those couple seasons. So are those four attribute points the difference in being fresh versus fatigued? So I'm curious to see how that ends up again. It's March right now, so we've still got quite a bit of season left to go. And we've already made significant progress and speaking of significant prog progress let's finish off the uh, mechanics here all right so there's one of three plus the uh, short irons that we finished off one of three all the way to 30. i've got two to go in consistency and power i will obviously go for consistency next as the power doesn't have much impact you could still hit a ball with it at zero you're just not going to hit it hard uh, okay, let's go ahead and train for a little while here. Definitely like the prospects a bit better this year. <laughs> well, not this year. Uh, this attempt, this playthrough, dropping it to, to hard. It plays the exact same. The, the only difference between very hard, hard, normal, and all of that is the starting money at both your attribute selection, right, the first screen, and then your opening cash at the beginning of the playthrough. After that, this is exactly the same uh, as the previous one was. So there's no change there. And right now, I'm not gonna make a cut. So with that, the model essentially stays the same. We're gonna trade in 13. That puts us up to 20,000, slowly climbing it up, and that gives us seven points for consistency. Okay, let's go ahead and recover for a couple weeks. Our stamina, get that back up to maxed out.
I think that's uh, enough stamina recovered. Do a couple more weeks of training regular. Five days a week. Now remember, going back to the beginning here, I started with that 50 on the short irons. To get five attribute points at the bronze level, that cost us $60,000. Now my return, what I got back, right, was 7,000. So that cost me fifty fifty three thousand dollars uh, in the end, I guess I did put in, what, another 13 points, something like that. Uh, so that actually ended up costing me $40,000 worth. So that was $60,000 worth of training with 20 coming back to get five points. So it's, it's pretty expensive. It's pretty difficult to manage, to, to get small gains. And it's that attribute decay that that really hurts because you could do them. You could make forty thousand, you know, the way I am right now. Right? There's twenty two stars. I can trade in twelve to get right back to where I was, meaning there's ten extra. But I'm gonna go ahead and trade in a little bit more than that. Uh, let's trade in fourteen. Again, here I'm, I'm gaining eight attribute points just like that. So that's awesome. Uh, it's that once you get out of copper into bronze, it's getting a lot tougher. And all 30s definitely doesn't cut it. As in make the cut. Uh, we're into late May now, so uh, we might end up getting through this whole first year uh, before getting everything up to 30 so the power definitely won't be there consistency may not even be there by the end of the year but I'd say this has certainly been a good year the downside is going to be all of a sudden these are all going to drop to uh, 54 at the end of the year and that'll have to be recovered and that's where things start getting challenging Copper is easy. Bronze is hard. And that profit of forty thousand, that that's that takes a long time to come by. Uh, that's quite a few months worth of. this base model of training and then selling. Alright, so this is going to get the consistency up to 20. It's June. I've still got a handful of months to go to get to the end of the year. But at best, we'll be just about done with consistency at the end of the year. And then we'll need to train in power. Which means we are going to end up going into next season before I've got a chance. Before I'm ready. I don't feel like I'm ready to try to make a cut until I've got 
30, 30, and 30, and all 55s. At that point, I want to give it a shot and see where we're at. But that will bleed into the next season, and I'm out of time for this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this season up, get where I get, and maybe even start into the next season, and we'll see you at that point uh, when I'm able to go 30, 30, and 30 and get those all to 55. And that's going to be the hard part. Uh, that'll be a lot harder than getting the power. I could do that probably by February. But getting those all back to 55, that's going to be a challenge. And that could take a whole nother year. We'll see. Uh, but at some point, we'll check in on that age 16 year, whether I'm there yet or not, uh, with what I need for all of these. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.